Hey guys, welcome back. So, I hope you guys have been having a good water festival so far with this event here. Um, I've been having, I've been enjoying this event so far. I was able to get those challenges. If you guys have been enjoying them, the Reporion I did, Blastoise. That was, I'm pretty excited. I was pretty happy I was able to get those done for sure. Um, I have another challenge coming up tomorrow, but I won't say anything, anything about it. But you guys will see what's going to happen tomorrow. But um, the, the, today's video is going to be pretty much talking about one of the pieces of the water festival that we, I wanted to go at, go into in case this this may be the first time for some of you guys may get to battle this this ray boss. Um, but <clears throat> we're going to scroll down here um onto raids here so on if you guys don't you guys remember on wednesday august 28th from 6 to 7 p.m local time our raid hour is going to be featuring the lake trio and five star raids in their respective regions so in case you guys don't remember what they are um we have azelf in the americas we have yuxi in the asian pacific region and then we have mesprit in the europe and africa if i'm not mistaken so i do apologize if i get those wrong but <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm correct on those. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about these three, the Lake Trio, because I know we've had them for quite some time, but we haven't had them for a little... We have, they, yeah, they haven't been out for quite some time. So um, so today we're going to be going over Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf, and then we're going to go into an Azelf raid guide. Um, the reason why I'm going with Azelf, because obviously I live I live in the Americas, so Azelf is going to be in my region, so... um. Yeah, and I know a lot of people, I've actually talked to a lot of people, and they kind of wish that Niantic would rotate Yuxi and Met, like the, all three of these, and I agree, because it makes it, it because we all it, we all have access just to one of these Lake, lake Guardians, it would be nice to be able to obtain the other two, so um, I kind of agree with that for sure, it would be nice if we can get, you know, Mesprit over here, or Yuxi, um, especially Yuxi, because I think Yuxi would be pretty pretty fun to use in pvp honestly um but um yeah, yeah so let's we're gonna go ahead and hop on go hub today and we're gonna go ahead and go over all three of these of, of these pokemon and then we're going to talk about a little bit we're gonna go into a little detail talking about these and then we're gonna go into the azelf ray guys so i'm gonna go ahead and hop on to go hub and i will catch you guys there all right guys so we're gonna start with azelf here which because the azelf is going to be in our region so Azelf here maxes out at 3,210 with an attack of 270, defense of 151, and stamina of 181. Azelf is a pure psychic type Pokemon. All three of them are, obviously. And being psychic, they're going to all be weak to bug, dark, and ghost. So, as you see here from the stats, Azelf is going to be the strongest out of all three of them, but will be the easiest one to take down. So, I think we in America got the be the better end of the deal because Azelf is definitely, actually currently, if I'm not mistaken, it is currently the second best psychic attacker in the game, just behind Mewtwo. I could be I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but I, I feel like Azelf just performs really well, honestly. Like, comparing it to Alakazam and Espeon, um... I think it performs extremely well personally, and I and I honestly can't wait for Azelf to come back just to just so I can get a couple of fun challenges on it for sure. I think that's really the main point, the main thing I'm going to be taking advantage of with Azelf. Unless Niantic decides to release this shiny variant for all three of the Lake Trio, I don't think that's going to happen. But in case they do, well, there, there you go. <laughs> but they didn't say anything about the Lake Trio being shiny, so I doubt that's going to be happening. Plus, we just had Azelf, I believe, back in. I actually don't remember precisely when we had Azelf in raids, but, um, or in general, the Lake Trio. But anyways, going into the Musa here, we have Extrasensory Confusion as the Quick Moose. Confusion is fantastic in general because it does a lot of damage. The only thing about it is that it is kind of slow, so you may, you probably get yourself stuck there. I think Extrasensory could have, it, it would have, I think it's okay, it's not the best, but it's most certainly not the worst. And then for Charge Moose, we have Future Sight, Fire Blast, and Swift. So the the future sight and swift they're gonna be shared with the other two as well. The only difference is the is the charge moves that they have. So Azelf here has the fire blast. So so yeah, so yeah, Azelf. I think out of the three is going to be the most useful in raids, which I like. I like that a lot because Azelf is definitely fantastic as a as a psychic attacker. So so we're gonna go ahead and scroll back down this way. We're gonna go take a look at Mesprit, which is going to be available in the Europe and Africa area uh, region. Mex Mesprit maxes out at 3,058 with an attack and defense of 212 and a stamina of 190. So 
Just like just like Azov, it's going to be weak to bug, dark, and ghost, and resisting the fighting and psychic. So there you go. Now, unlike Azov, Mesprit does have a little bit lesser attack offensively, so it's not as strong as Azov, but it is the most balanced out of all three of them. So uh, with a defense of 212, however, it's not going to be taking as much damage, but with an attack of 212, it's not going to be putting out as much damage as Azelf. But Mesprit is not that bad, personally. And if I was able to get my hands on a Mesprit, I would I wouldn't mind using one just for fun. So let's go into the moves here. Just like just like Azelf, it's going to have the extra sensory confusion as quick moves. But unlike Azelf, the only difference between the two is that they're going a um, Mesprit here has Blizzard. And then it but it's still they still share a future sight and swift for sure. The only difference is just the blizzard, that's it. But um yeah, Mesprit, pretty well balanced. It's not bad. It's not the. It's not great, but it's most certainly not bad. I think it's fun. I think it'll be a fun uh, psychic type to use once we ever get our hands on it over here in the Americas for sure. And then finally, we're gonna go into the Asia Pacific regions on Lake Trio Guardian. We have Yuxi, which maxes out. Maxes out. Sorry, at two thousand five hundred and twenty-four with an attack of one fifty-six, defense of two seventy, and stamina of one eighty-one. So Yuxi is the more tankier, tankiest out of the three. That's going to be the hardest one to take down, but won't be put dishing out the mo won't won't that nah, won't be dishing out the most damage. So it's basically reversed stats between Yuxi and Azelf. Azelf is more offensive. Yuxi is more defensive. So Yuxi is going to be a, a bit tanky for sure. Um, but if you guys have enough counters, it still shouldn't be too difficult to take down for sure. But Yuxi is going to be really tanky, so do keep that in mind. And just like the other two, Yuxi has access to extra sensory and confusion as the quick moves. For charge moves, we have Future Sight, Swift, and then unlike the other two, Yuxi here has the Thunder, which I think is not really that. It's definitely not the greatest charge move. You definitely want for sure. Don't want for sure. Now. I think personally, Yuxi actually shines the most in PvP. I think in the Great League, I think it does fairly, fairly good. I mean, I, I, I've, I mean, you guys seen it before. I think Yuxi is fantastic in the Great League because it's pretty tanky, and it does get access to that confusion for sure. And with a defense of two seventy, I mean, I think it's going to perform. I think it performs pretty well, if you ask me. So, um, yeah, for those of you in the Asia Pacific region, Yuxi is fantastic for. Uh, PvP, but for raids, not so much. So, there you have it, guys. So, those are the stats on the late trio for sure. Um, let's go ahead and real quick go over the 100% IV for for UXC and Mesper because we're not we don't have those in um in, we don't have those in my region. So, for those of you in the Asia Pacific region, just if you guys are curious what the 100% is for UXC here, you're gonna be looking for 1442 for the 100%. Um, and then if you happen to if it happens to be weather boosted. And with windy weather, all three are going to be benefiting from the windy weather. For the 100% for weather boosted Yuxi, you're going to be looking for 1803. So, 1803 if it's boosted. If not boosted, you're going to be looking for 1442. So, that's for Yuxi. Now, for those now for those of you who have Mesper in their region, the 100% IV for Mesper is going to be 1747 if, if non-boosted. And then with the weather boost, you're going to be looking for 2184. So 2184 if it's boosted, otherwise you're gonna be looking for for 1747. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop onto the Azelf Ray Guide and go over Azelf. And basically the counters are gonna be just about the same for all three of them, except for a few differences. We're gonna which we're gonna go into that in just a moment. So without further ado, I'm gonna hop on the Azelf Ray Guide and I will see you guys there. Alright guys, so we are here on the Azelf Raid Guide here. So, the only reason why I didn't go over the 100% IV back then, um, from the last clip, is because obviously, we're gonna ha we're gonna be going over the Raid Guide here, and we're gonna go into all those numbers and all that stuff in just a moment here. And the reason why we're, you, we're looking at Azelf here, is because like I mentioned before earlier in this video, Azelf is going to be our, um, our, our region lake trio here in the Americas. So, um, yeah, so... A, Azelf is going to have a ball CP of 44,972, and it is a pure psychic type, means that it's going to be weak to dark, bug, and ghost types, so we're going to go over all those counters in just a moment here. But, for the Azelf, for, uh, for those who are curious about what the 100% is for Azelf, for a level 4 non-boosted Azelf, we're going to be looking for 1834, and, and that's with no weather boost, and then if boosted, you're going to be looking for 2293, so... 1834 if not boosted and if it's boosted 2293 so they have it there you go on the 
the stats here. And they actually do go into the detail is that Stem um Azelf is going to be the easiest to take down again, like with the least amount of players for sure. And you can see it's the more defensive oriented, and then Mesper is like in the middle of the road, basically what they say here. So let's go, let's scroll down here one more time on the move sets here. Oh, perfect, even better. Um, so they 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 even made a chart here going over the best counters for Azelf here. For the quick moves, you can uh, uh, one more time. It has extra sensory and confusion. For charge moves, it has future sight, fire blast, and swift. And as you see here, these are the these are the top six counters against Azelf here. We have Garatina O with Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball, Mewtwo with Psycho Cut, Shadow Ball, Tyranitar, or Titar rather. Well, let's go Tyranitar, just for in case you guys wonder what Titar. Tyranitar with Bite Crunch. I go I usually I just go with Titar. I don't know why, but I just feel like Titar just fits me, honestly. But Tyranitar with Bite Crunch, Gengar with any of those quick moves, and Shadow Ball. Houndoom with Snarl Foul Play, and then Weavile with Faint Attack and Foul Play. So Let's go scroll up here. So now we're going to go over the counters for you right here. The number one counter against Azelf is, of course, going to be Garatina. Oh, origin form with the Shadow Claw and Shadow Ball. The reason why Garatina O is going to be fantastic against not just Azelf, but against the other two as well, is because against Azelf, it's going to be able to resist all three of... Uh, well, not, uh, not all three, I'm lying. It's going to actually be doing taking the least amount of damage out of all the counters for sure. Especially with Swift, it's going to be tanking like crazy so being a ghost type is going to be taking heavily reduced damage from that swift attack and it's going to be resisting the fire blast and it's neutral to these future sites so all three of them now the thing with the garatina o is that it has to watch out for mesprit's blizzard so for those of you in the in the europe africa if you guys got mesprit if you guys use garatina you do you may have to watch out for that blizzard because blizzard will be super effective on garatina being part dragon but other than that if it has Future Sight or Swift, you're going to be fine. And for those if we that have Uxie in your region, you're going to be fantastic as well because Uxie has Thunder, which Garatina will resist. It's just Mesprit with Blizzard that have to, you have to watch out for, for sure. Next up we have is Mewtwo with Psycho Cut and Shadow Ball. The reason why this one's on top is because it does resist the Future Sight and it does really well in terms of damage. And it's going to be... Performing pretty well as a ghost attacker. The only thing is that Shadow Ball is legacy, so you won't be able to obtain this move right now. So don't bother trying to TM for it because you will not get it. So then we're going to go into Gengar. Gengar here is actually going to be performing a lot of damage. And it's going to be doing a lot of damage. Um, but at the same time, Gengar is a glass cannon. It's going to be feigning a lot for sure. But if you happen to be facing the Azelf with Uxie or me or Uxie or Mesper, sorry, with the Swift Gengar will be able to survive even with the quick move being the um, extra sensory, especially against Uxie. I think you would be able to do pretty well against Uxie with Gengar's for sure. Against Azelf, however, I think it's going to be doing a decent amount of damage even with the extra sensory. But with Swift, you'll, you should be able to handle handle pretty well against that move against that particular set, regardless. So. Gengar, definitely a fantastic choice. Just keep in mind, it is a glass cannon, so for sure. Now, next up we're going to go ahead and talk about is, is Tyranitar, or my boy Titar. And Tyranitar is going to actually be performing the best out of all, all of these, because um, Tyranitar, actually, against Azelf, is going to be able to resist all three of Azelf's moves, especially the Future Sight, which is going to actually be resisting heavily because of that Dark Typing, so... And then, and just the other two moves, it's going to resist Fire Blast being part Rock, and then the Swift being part Rock as well. Against Mesprit, it's going to be neutral. It's going to also be doing really well against Mesprit. Even with the, it'll just be neutral to Blizzard, and then against Uxie, it'll just be, it'll be neutral to the Thunder. But, it's still going to be performing fantastically well against all three of them. So, you may want to consider using T-Tar if, if you guys don't have other counters for sure. And then... Weave out here with faint attack and foul play is also fantastic. Against Azelf, it has to watch out for Fire Blast because Fire Blast will be super effective on Azelf being part ice. So, but if it's Future Sight, you're going to be doing fantastically. You're going to be, be taking a reduced damage for sure. Against against Yuxi, um, you're going to be neutral to that Thunder. Against Mesprit, you're going to be resisting the Blizzard being part ice. So that's going to be really fantastic there. And then we have Hunch Crow with Snarl and Dark Pulse. With Hunchcrow here, it'll be neutral to the Fire Blast from Azelf, 
But, however, you do have to be careful with with Hunch Crow if you use it against Yuxi or Mesmer for those of you in those regions. Because Yuxi is going to be, it will hit it hard with that Thunder. And Mesmer is going to be hitting it hard with Blizzard. It's going to be way to both of those typings. So you have to be careful. If you use Hunch Crow, it's going to be taking super effective damage from the Earth, from the, sorry, from the Thunder from Yuxi and then the Blizzard from Mesmer. So do keep that in mind. Next up, we got Absol with Snar Dark Pulse. Another decent choice for sure. It is a little bit of a, of a frail glat cannon there, though, so it will be taking some decent damage from the Swift from all three. Um, however, as against Future Sight, it will it will be able to take reduced damage, so it will definitely perform a little bit better. Houndoom here is actually not a bad choice either with Snar and Foul Play. Against the Zelf, I guess all three, it will, it will take reduced damage from the Future Sight. Against a Zelf, it will be resisting the Fire Blast. And against Mesprit, it will be resisting the Blizzard. And it get, but against Yuxi, it will be neutral, taking damage from the neutral damage from the Thunder. All, however, all these Dark types are be, will be taking very reduced damage from the Future Sight. So do keep that in mind because Dark types are going to be doing fantastic for sure. And there's some other counters you guys can use if you guys don't have those top contenders. We have Pinsir with Bug Bite and X Scissor. Pins is going to have to watch out for that Fire Blast from the Azelf. And it's going to be taking a lot of damage in general, so do keep that in mind. Um, however, if you have Rain Conditions, then Pinsir will shine really well against the, against all three. Because it will actually be putting out some pretty considerable damage for sure. Next up, we have Yamanga with Bug Bite and Bug Buzz. Yamanga is not going to be resisting anything. In fact, Yamanga is actually going to be pretty rough to use sometimes because... All three of the of the special moves being the Fire Blast from Azelf, the Blizzard from Mesprit, and the Thunder from Yuxi. All three of those are going to be doing super effective damage to Yamega. So if you guys are you going to be using Yamega at all, just be careful of the Thunder from Yuxi, the, the, the Blizzard from Mesprit, and the Fire Blast from the Azelf. But all three of those are going to be super effective on the Yamega. So do keep that in mind. And then we had next up we got Cezor here with Fury Cutter X Cezor. Cezor definitely needs to watch out for that for that fire blast. It is quite weak to that. It's it, that is his only weakness, but it will resist the other two moves. It will resist the future sight and it will resist the swift. Um and I got my my friend Oso Blossom messenger me. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> but um yes, you have to watch out for that fire blast for sure. But against Mesper, you'll be able to resist the blizzard and against Yuxi, you will be neutral to that blizzard. So, yeah. Next up, we got Sharpedo with um, Snarl and Foul Play. Sharpedo is a bit of a glass cannon, but will resist the Fire Blast. Will take reduced damage from the Future Sight. And it's going to be re resisting the Blizzard from Mesprit, but has to watch out for Thunder from Yuxi being a water type. So keep that in mind. Then we have Miss Magius with Hex and Shadow Ball. Miss Magius is, falls in the same category as Gengar. Will be able to take the um, reduced damage from Swift and being neutral to the other, all the other moves for sure. So, do keep that in mind. Attack form Deoxys is also on this list. I wouldn't really use it. It's it's super frail. Um, I guess if it's extra sensory future sight, but even so, I don't think it's gonna survive even a second, honestly. But if you guys want to use it, go for it. Poison jab, dark pulse is the move that you want. Then we have shift tree with faint attack and foul play. It has to watch out for that fire blast and blizzard from those two from Azelf and Mesper together for sure. But we'll resist the uh, future sight from from the Phoenix part dark type, and just like Cacturn, I mean sorry, just like Sif Tree, sorry, we have Cacturn with Sucker Punch and Dark Pulse, which will resist the future sight heavily, and they will actually be resi resi resisting the thunder from Yuxi. Same goes into Shift Tree, but they have to watch out for Blizzard and Fire Blast from Mesprit and Azelf, respectively. So they they have it, guys. Those are the, some of the best counters you want to use against the lake trio and just keep in mind about the counters you guys use especially in your different regions if you guys are watching from like asia pacific or from europe just keep in mind of those possible situations of what you guys may have to run into but aside from that if you guys use the main the main pokemon you guys will want to use if you guys are in a group you may want to just go ahead and use tyranitar because tyranitar will be the most consistent counter against all three of them because it'll be able to resist a lot of a lot of hits um a lot of the attacks and the only moves it won't resist is blizzard and thunder but then again tyranitar being pretty pretty tanky it will act it'll be able to stay in the fight for quite some time for sure but the most decent but the most supreme counters are going to be of course garatina origin form mewtwo with shadow ball if you have them gengar with any of his quick moves and shadow ball with those quick moves for sure shadow call and like being um legacy and shadow ball there 
And then and so those are the top three uh, Supreme counters. And then we also have Tyranitar, Weavile. I think, honestly, Tyranitar is just a fantastic choice in general. So you may want to make good use of those uh, Tyranitars if you guys have them for sure. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button, subscribe, and comment. And I, f I only made this video because, you know, in case you guys are going for your first Azelf, I figure I made this guy just help you guys out for sure. Azelf, is going to, is going, your Lake Guardian is going to be available in your local time from 6 to 7 p.m. Uh, just, just, a, just a quick summary. Azelf is going to be available in the Americas and the Greenlands. Mesper is going to be available in the Europe and Africa region. And then Yuxi is going to be available in the Asia-Pacific region. Will Niantic rotate them? I don't think so, but we'll just have to wait and see. So with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys for watching, and good luck on your, on your day on your Lake Trio Guardians. So thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.